Hey everyone, this is Ruan. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a deep dive into Splashdash, uh, specifically on how to do AI and SEO all in one tool itself. So as you can see, I'm inside of a ChatGPT account that I use, ChatGPT4 paid plan. And up in the on the left side, you have a couple of different saved MyGPTs. There's Splashdash, which really does nothing, but I'll talk about why we use this later. There's search, there's domain, there's keywords, there's backlinks, and you can see there's a lot of these different tools that we use on a regular basis to accomplish some of our SEO tasks. Each tool inside comes with a different set of things that you can do. For example, the search allows you to get map data, find businesses, find top search results, and summarize videos. And then each GPT actually gives you a couple of different sample prompts that you can use to start beginning the content itself. For example, this one would be able to provide you with Google business profile data, provide you with Google search results, summarize a YouTube video, and list top businesses in a category in a specific area. Going on to domain, so this one as you switch over, this one allows you to scan domains, gather domain authority, gather spam scores, anchor text, and more. And you can see that, for example, I can perform a domain overview, I can get the anchor text of a domain, I can compare the domains, I can show me the backlinks of a domain, and that's really cool because this is going to allow you to do some of that off-page SEO work that you've been looking to do um, directly inside of your AI account. And then let's say the fourth one is keywords. And so this one allows you to view keyword data, analyze multiple terms at once, analyze domains for top terms, and get PPC terms. So of course, there's a ton of these that we can use, and there's a, bunch, there's a variety of different prompts that we can actually leverage to get data from these different APIs. But most importantly, what I did want to let you know is this is not native to ChatGPT and it's currently not available right now. But if you wanted to, you can get on the beta if just by going to splashdash.ai, clicking on get on waitlist and then putting in information and then you'll get updated when the product is ready to be used. But let's kind of get started on how this has changed in SEO in 2024. So really the goal of this is to create context, right? Um, anytime you're using AI, your goal is to get the AI to know information to produce a really good outcome. So let me show you how a lot of this stuff works. So let's say I wanted to find the top plumbers in Southington, Connecticut. That would be a search term. So the, the, the actual prompt here is find me the top quote unquote plumbers in Southington. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that's just how we prompted it. And then what that's gonna do is it's going to talk to our, our um, API here. And you can see that that's our code base. And so it went ahead and queried plumbers and then it had, went ahead and gave me the location. And then you can see it's going to actually give me the top plumbers in that area directly from the Google business profile listing, which is really useful because now I don't have to actually go ahead and copy and paste that information from an outside source into GPT per se. So now I can gather all that information really quickly all at once. And now of course I can change this too. So if I wanted to, I can gather additional types of data with this prompt. Let's say I went ahead and prompted that. And instead of plumbers, let's say I wanted to search med spa. And then for what that's gonna do is it's gonna run a similar prompt. It's going to search, or I'm sorry, I declined the action. Let me try that again. It's gonna grab, grab that prompt and then it's going to do a search. It's gonna query the term med spa and then it's gonna return with that data that we see here. So once again, query med spa, location Southington, confirm. And then that information is gonna come back into my account from our actual code base that's running this action. So really cool to see this kind of stuff because it allows us to integrate a lot of the tools that we use on the internet directly inside of our ChatGPT account, which ultimately is very, very scalable for SEO activities um, and just doing some SEO stuff. Because now I don't have to go through different tabs to accomplish a lot of different things that I'm looking to accomplish. So that's kind of how that works, right? So that's how the search function works. There's a lot more that you can do with each of these APIs. I'm just showing you one mere example. There is a document that you can view that shows all of the different types of prompts that you can use. You can spend some time researching that to figure out what the best way of gathering the best level of information is for that. So what's great about Splashdash and ChatGPT just in general is if I click the app button, I can now, just like in a Slack group or just like in a text message thread, I can call on a different integration. So let's say I wanted to call on domain. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to compare all of these different med spas. And so I wanted to go ahead and grab this information and I wanted to compare these domains. So in my prompt, I would say pure skin is our client perform a domain analysis on all domains and tell me what's the outcome. 
So basically what I've done here is now that I've prompted all of this information, I'm going to go ahead and ask ChatGPT to tell it PureSkin's our client. So the first result that you saw up here is our customer, which is true. If you go on their website and you go to the footer, this is actually our client. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and prompt that. And so now what it's going to do is it's going to call on the domain API. And you can see right here how that's working. It's basically going to target all of the URLs that have been mentioned on that list that we got from Google Business Profile. And then it's going to go ahead and run those different actions. So what that's doing is it's doing domain analysis at scale and allowing me to do it really, really quickly. So you can see that um, by looking at this data here, you can kind of see which domains uh, are actually ranking at the top. So, and then some recommendations it's gonna make, and then this data, it's gonna attribute it to where it got the data from. Uh, because Splashdash works with a lot of different software companies, specifically companies that offer enterprise data, it's going to always credit the data where it got it from. So you can always trust and be sure that the data is coming from a place that is reputable and amicable. So taking a look, it's gonna give you some contextual information too about the data, which is really great. Um, and that's going to allow you to basically send this to the client or do whatever it is that you wanna do um, from that kind of fashion. So just by looking at the data, we have CT Skin, which is our domain. We have a 27 page authority, an 18 domain authority, a one spam score. And then we have Renew, which is the competitor. Looks like they have a higher page authority, same domain authority, higher spam score, which isn't necessarily great. And then we have Grace, which is another competition, another competition. So you can see how I can quickly look at this marketplace. And in this event, I just put in four domains. But imagine when you can do this with 10, 15, 20 domains at once and quickly get some competitive research done really quickly. So now let's switch over to another API. Let's go to SEO. And so with this one, what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to perform organic research very similar to how we just did with domain. So with SEO, what we can expect with this one is if I were to click on the actual SEO tab, I'd be able to see some of these basic prompts, get SEO overview, get historical overview, get paid search performance overview, provide keyword difficulty. You could do all of that inside of the SEO one. But let's go back to this one and then let's click at and let's do SEO. So now what I want to do is I want to do compare domains for SEO value. And then I'm just going to say, remember, our client is ctskin.com so now that's going to go ahead and prompt that it's going to ask me if i want to approve this splash dash is going to run each and every action one by one and that's going to allow it to do that comparative analysis that we talked about and let's let that run for a sec So there we have the result coming in and then you have a conclusion towards the end which you can clearly see here and the conclusion is pretty straightforward that pure skin leads both in organic and organic traffic making it the strongest performing seo amongst the listed med spas grace medical aesthetics shows competitive traffic value but falls short in numbers of keywords renew and aria lag behind in all seo metrics what a wonderful thing to be able to tell your client right to be able to use a tool like this to get non-biased information, to be able to deliver that information directly to your client. So let's say I did wanna take that information and let's say I did wanna send that message to our client. So what I can do is I can go ahead and gather this analysis. I can go ahead and combine it. And then I can go ahead and just literally um, write an email. And let's say that's what that is. Let's say you're sending data about a client's performance. In this case, we're gonna say that that client is ctskin.com. You are a marketing manager and your task in the format of a short email to send these stats to the client. So let's do that. And now what's beautiful about this is we have this context. Um, ChatGPT is now going to use its native feature combining Splashdash's data to actually go ahead and write this kind of report to a client so that they understand what the competitive landscape is. Um, the cool thing is, is in the near future, you're going to be able to do things like connect your analytics, connect your Google ads, things like that to be able to connect these things and automatically schedule these type of reports. So let's take a look. Um, basically, hope all is well. Here's, a, here's the following SEO metrics. Here's you, right? Here's your competition. And here's a conclusion of that information. So you can see at scale, we're doing this kind of reporting and being able to contextually continue this conversation if we needed to uh, in the near future. So 
Um, really, really cool stuff to do for, based on competitive research and organic SEO research. But that's kind of how working in between these different tools work. You can basically use the app function, call on a different type of integration, and then get that information and use it inside of your context window all within one chat, which is really great. So you don't have to run through different chats, etc. And I can only foresee this getting better as ChatGPT makes upgrades, which will also make the Splash Dash product much better as well. So of course, I, I recommend you explore a couple of these different ones. Um, in the upcoming videos, I'm obviously gonna be showing you a couple of all cool, other cool things in terms of tutorials that you can do with these different features as well. And we're always adding different integrations too. So if you go to the current website and you look for, let's say Moz, and you look into the integration, you can read about all of the different things that you can prompt to gather data with. And the cool thing is, is you don't even need a subscription to any of these accounts. They're all included as long as you're on the Splashdash waitlist. So thanks guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.